Hello, I'm Father Robert Spitzer, the president of the Maja Center of Reason and Faith. I'm here today to talk to you about the Catholic understanding of the scientific evidence for God. We'll be featuring in this Blink series some of the major highlights, some of the new evidence that has come out in the last few years. So where did we come from? Well, prior to 1927, we didn't have much scientific evidence to answer that question. But surprisingly, a Belgian Catholic priest named Father Georges Lemaitre changed the entire perspective on scientific cosmology by discovering the Big Bang Theory um, which in 1927 was a very radical act. Father Lemaitre, uh, a colleague of Einstein's who um, had studied at MIT for his doctorate, uh, was trying to explain a complex problem of why extragalactic nebulae or light sources seemed to be moving away from us too quickly to be explained by the general theory of relativity if we assumed that the universe was in a steady state. And Lemaitre proposed that the way to explain this is that the universe as a whole is expanding. And utilizing, at that time, the general theory of relativity allows space-time to expand because space-time is like a field and it can expand, it can stretch, just like a balloon. And what he proposed was that, uh, that uh, all the galaxies in the universe were like little dots on the surface of this stretchable space-time field, like this dots on the surface of a balloon, and that the balloon was blowing up. And then when the balloon was blowing up, everything was moving away from everything else. In fact, it was almost mathematically perfect. Lemaitre comes up with one of the first constants for the overall rate of expansion of the universe. He presents it to Einstein. Einstein turns around and he goes, the mathematics is excellent, the physics is preposterous, but Lemaitre, of course, is vindicated. Uh, one piece of evidence after the next. Edwin Hubble, uh, the great American astronomer, discovers the red shifting of the universe as a whole. And then, of course, Penzias and Wilson discover the background radiation left over from the Big Bang. And then we have the cosmic background explorer satellite, the Wilkinson microwave anisotropy probe. And, of course, each of these things verified the Lemaitre theory so that today, where did we come from? It seems like this. 13.7 billion years ago, plus or minus 200 million years, there was a cataclysmic explosion, seemingly from something that was either a singularity or something that was perhaps 10 to the minus 33 centimeters. And this explosion gave rise to like a unified field. And it seems like the explosion, it, it, it occurred and the prior state was nothing. It just appears and explodes. And then when this occurs, we have a unified field where the four forces of the universe suddenly emerge in a single unity. And when this happens, what we see is first the gravitational uh, uh, force peels off, giving rise to the space-time field, and then the strong nuclear force peels off, and then, of course, it leaves just the uh, weak forces, and, and finally the electromagnetic and the weak forces separate, and then, of course, all of the other stages of universal development occur. Finally, we see that we have, uh, you know, uh, after the, the, the Higgs boson is able to create a, a rest mass, if, if indeed the Higgs boson uh, is verified. We see then we have quark soups which give rise to all of our leptons and hadrons. Soon we have electrons and, and, and protons and eventually these are, are, are getting together in, 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 in a tremendous explosion creating hydrogen atoms and helium atoms and finally these collect together in massive clouds and they give rise to stellar nucleosynthesis and all of the other elements. And then finally, of course, as this continues to occur, we get a planet Earth. And from this planet Earth, we get life forms. And from this life form, we get something utterly special, a human being. 
capable of self-consciousness, capable of transcendental thought, something that's very, very difficult to explain in sheerly biophysical and biological terms. Our self-consciousness, the fact that we don't think in algorithmic ways, it can be explained by finite algorithmic uh, structures, as the Gödel theorem indicates, and of course, uh, it's seeming to indicate that human beings are more than the organic, more than the physical, that human beings actually have a kind of transcendent soul or transcendent spirit. And then, from that moment on, the development of human beings in history guided by the Holy Spirit. A truly remarkable scenario which come, uh, where we see a, a real conflation and complementarity between science and faith. We'll be explaining more on this in other segments of our Blink series. You can learn a lot more through our new film documentary, Cosmic Origins, featuring eight world-class physicists available through Ignatius Press.